Now we're all familiar with selfies. Now they're after sex selfies. It's everyday people tweeting or Instagramming a photo of themselves after, you guessed it, make a little love. Now the hashtag after sex is starting to blow up social media and even Sharon Osbourne is making reference to it on the talk. Just before the show I had a quickie and I said <laughs> Time is calling it the after sex trend we don't need. BuzzFeed and the Daily Mail both say it's on the rise. And just last month, there were 23,000 tweets with the hashtag. And here's what you think about social media's newest not safe for work trend in tonight's social sound off. Can't you just high five your buddies or call your girlfriends? TMI, we do not need to know that. Do you really waste your time after sex to put pictures on the internet? Nobody wants to see those pictures. I know I don't. Uh, clearly, as you can see, people love talking about sex. It's a hot topic <laughs> always. Isn't so this, this what our mother uh -huh. has always warned us about? On I it. know. Not to do. <laughs> Here to talk about this more in depth is a woman who wrote a book on young people and sex. It's called Laid Young People's Experiences with Sex in an Easy Access Culture. Shannon Boudram, there seems to be a connection between millennials and this uh, sharing trend. Well, what we're seeing essentially is that door that we have behind closed door is opening mm -hmm. and in some cases dissolving and being broken down. And this is an example of that door being kicked right down. You're an avid YouTuber and this is really talking about the relationships that we have within the digital age. So I'm just kind of wondering what your consensus is on the general overview of this topic. If you look at the sexual response cycle, when we have that final phase where we're relaxed, we're honest, we're ourselves, and that's a beautiful time to take a euphoric selfie. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry. I mean, isn't this really a gateway to a, a place that you don't want to go? We're really challenging the boundaries of what type of humanity we're willing to experience and share. And I don't think you should be judged on that because that's how you were made and how I was made. Right. And even how I was made like that too. <laughs> no, well, you stop don't, it. Yeah. It's not like it's not how I was like, made that way. How you were made? I don't know. No, but this is what I love. Now, many people are jumping on this trend like we do, and we're seeing people associate after sex hashtags with adorable pictures of animals cuddling each other there. That's cute. But here's my favorite, Barbie and Ken getting their bed bliss <laughs> on. Come on now, seriously? It's seriously? all fine and well. You know, I think we should say the young people might be hip with this, but for the old folks who are maybe looking at your job application or your college <laughs> application, folks. they might not be, they might quite not understand this okay, trend quite Just yet, keep right? it above the net. Exactly. <laughs> Shannon, thanks for your perspective. And Nina, thanks for sharing uh, the thoughts from the community. Now, us old people are gonna be right back.